By the way, uh, on social media, on you know the Instagram stories, I, I don't think we've ever gotten as many responses to this picture, which was just supposed to be Salad Club. And the reason is uh, Chris's body looks so strange that I heard the term midget and or Peter Dinklage just so many times. Did you even take a look at this, Vito? No, not yet. All right. If you look at it, I don't know who took the picture. Earl? Earl took the yes, picture, Earl yes. Took the picture. Earl's the worst photographer that anyone's ever seen. Earl, I want you to come over and judge this photography. Come on over. <laughs> Run fast. The best thing is, you know, Earl took the picture, but I never looked at it. I had no idea this is what Chris looked like in this photo. Oh, you didn't know it? <laughs> no. uh, it was blowing up last night, and everybody thought they had the... Now, what is wrong with this picture, Earl? Um, it makes Chris look very small. <laughs> now, is he very small? No. He's a six foot two man. <laughs> Why does he look Why like he... his legs are 12 inches? Did you Photoshop this before? I... I said, this makes no sense. First this of picture. all, he and Vito are the same height. <laughs> Vito is towering over him. It looks like he's got a large trunk, but no legs whatsoever. I look, I hate to say, use this word, freakish. I don't look like a human being in I this. feel like that's being mean to little people. Yeah, because a lot of people compared you to little person. Every oh. single person did. This now, stuff. how did you get this shot? I, I just lined it up. Where I was like, okay. How did you, you lined it up like you did a great job with it? Well, no, man, but why Vito does he, normal. Yes. Why does Vito look like Vito? Gail looks like Gail. Uh, although one person said they love you in a hat and pigtails. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you. I mean, you were tremendously stumped by the <laughs> Peter Dinklage stuff. <laughs> but how could this happen, Earl? Um, perhaps uh, at a, I had it at a certain angle. But then you looked at the picture afterwards. And Thank you, you. And you sent it. And you're like, and all like, right, this is the one. If somebody was a real buddy, they would go, hey, dude, you look so weird in this photo. Let me take this it. This is again. what it looks like. It looks like I am a little person. Yeah. And he's like... Just it made Were you me trying to look like that? No, I was just taking a picture for Salad Club. Why? How did you get so short looking? I don't know. You fucked Salad Club up and you fucked the Salad Club picture up. That's an interesting thing because that's what Earl is not picking up on is this was supposed to be Vito's day. This yeah, is Salad Club. The His focus club. is on little Chris. Yeah. So people be, could be like, oh, you guys went and did something you didn't want to do, but you did it for Vito. That's nice. Not one of those. No. All just about the height of Chris and the lack of length to those little legs. I mean, even your feet look tiny, yeah, your, Chris. None of this makes look. sense. It's It had to have been Photoshop. What's this Peter Jackson trick tr photography bullshit you did? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I did it at, like a, this way. You didn't. Oh, we saw a, you. We were standing or, in front of you as you took the salad. I don't. I'm trying to figure out as much as but, everyone else. Earl, can I ask you a question? Did you take a look at that and said, "Did I capture the best salad club that I can?" <laughs> look, I'm going to tell you this. We just stood in front of the tree so we could put up a Christmas picture. Gail said, "Oh, Paul, would you take this picture?" You could tell that he had zero interest, right? Mm -hmm. You know why? It's not his show. It's not his listeners. He doesn't care. Earl, this is your show. Yes. These are your listeners. You don't want to be a Paul right now. You know what I mean? I'm appalled by that. How do you look at that? And and you're thinking to yourself, did I get the good salad club shot? Or does Chris look like Peter Dinklage? <laughs> like, oh, guys, guys, I, I just look at this. Chris looks like Peter Dinklage. Let's get another picture before we send it out. My hair doesn't even usually look like that. And, like, I just want to throw this out there. Yeah, go. Uh, Peter Dinklage is a handsome guy. So, like, I don't think you want to look like a lesser Peter Dinklage. That's not somebody yes. you want to be. Now, That's where I'm at. <laughs> All right, let's try to go through this because Earl, a man who has put out photography books, is stunned by this. We know that your your shirt is too long. Yes. yes. That's a dad shirt problem that That's you an have. Issue. Yeah. So that makes it look like your, your legs end at a certain I, place. I feel weird asking this, but are your pants too small? Like it almost looks like the pants begin where the shirt ends. Right. But like that's where right. his ass is, right on the other end of that shirt. <laughs> right. Are those Janko jeans? <laughs> 
I wish. I mean, uh, but here's the other thing. I would say that's what makes him look short. But then look at he and I. You know, everybody, I am a short person. Right. Normally, I'm you're, getting the little person comment. You're the Peter Dinklage of my I group. I normally am the dink. Mm-hmm. But, Chris, you look barely taller than me. Doesn't I, he look barely taller than me? I'm a little person in this picture, but not in real life. Earl, did you do it on purpose? Did you, oh, like, oh, Chris oh, looks like shit? Not. Now, <laughs> maybe you did. and Maybe it's subconscious, and that would be okay. I'd rather discover it now at the end of a shitty 2019 rather than the brand new. Now, what is the title of this picture? What? Salad Club. Now, can I ask you this? You see any of the salads? Or is this bowl club? <laughs> Wouldn't the fact that there were all these fresh salads, if I was the photographer, I'd be like, did I catch the fresh ingredients, which was all Vito cared about, right? The, all we see is big cardboard bowls, which, as, I, as you know, grossed me out. The <laughs> Babe, cardboard you didn't bowls. like them. Yeah. I like them because they're compostable. Where's my sweet potato? Where's my spicy broccoli? Kale. Where's the love is what he's asking. He had the love. Did you have the love? Or did you feel like, I'm Paul. I really don't want to take this person. Did you think to yourself, my name is Paul, and that's between y'all. Where is the love? We only got one pick. One pick. All we got is one, one pick, pick. One, one pick. pick. Something's wrong with this picture, y'all. <laughs> you gotta ask yourself. <laughs> now, why does Vito look... A foot taller so tall. than Chris when they're the same height. He's towering over me. This makes no fucking sense. He looks sense. a full head taller. Was I like leaning up and you just took the picture as I was leaning up or something? Leaning that, up? What's that mean? Forward. No, because look at the salad bowl that me and Chris are holding are at the exact same level. So he's not leaning. He's obviously yeah. standing. And you can see your feet are kind of like not that far distance like forward. It's not like. Yeah. And normally no if perspective. you were sitting like way in front, wouldn't you look taller? Yeah. You look I would. bigger. Yes. Not smaller. I look like a tiny <laughs> like little you ever man. Be, like if you're in the front and there's a group photo, you're like, I look huge. My head looks big. I look so much taller than everybody else. It's This is this is obviously sabotaged by Earl Douglas. Not at all. I mean, is it, is it the, one of my greatest shots? Totally not one of my greatest shots. Whether going out to humiliate you? What, would you, what would you give it in the letter grade? Uh, I'd give it an F. Okay, so honest, you went from not, but, but you sent out the F. The time I, for you to give, here, here's the thing. I'm sure the greatest photographers in the world have taken terrible pictures, but they don't put them out. They go through it with care to go, okay, I found the best picture, you know? Because you'd be like, oh, this is a great picture. Not so great a veto. Let me look at the next one, you know? That's what a photographer does. Yes, my um, I should have edited better. I, it's you well, you only edit. have one. You can't edit better when you only have one shot. No, I mean, but so you edited. I should have filtered better instead of you know what? I should have said, let's do it again. You should have directed us. Yes, just say, Chris, you, you look like that's a weirdo. true. You don't direct. Yeah. A lot of times you even take. We don't know it. Like if we're lining up with someone, you take four of the same picture. Yes, I'm, I don't change angles. I don't. Uh, Considering I have other filters on here, I shouldn't use them all. Well, why are you coming in working as a prosecutor against yourself? No, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being completely honest. You have honest. some kind of a I height mean, filter? It sounds like what you're saying is I'm a lazy man. I'm not, I'm not, it's, a, it's a lazy shot. I don't know how Chris ended up a foot But you got to know. But that's what you, that's that, the no, way to I'm learn. you got to know. This out. You can't try to figure it out. you got to know if you're going to be the photographer. Uh, Queen Elizabeth thinks she has an idea. Hey, Queen. Oh, What's up, Queenie? Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, buddy. Um, <clears throat> I can't believe I'm actually going to say this, but I don't think Earl's the issue here. It's the way Chris is dressed in the picture. Sloppily? <clears throat> well, naturally, like an, uh, as you say, Ron, like an unmade bed. But mm. um, his shirt, it looks like it's it's for somebody who's like tremendously fat and he's only moderately. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm down to moderate. But why don't so, you have better like, fitting why clothes? Why does his shirt tails go all the way down to his knees? It yeah. looks like when a little kid puts on like their mom's clothes or their dad's clothes. That is what he looks around, like. Yeah. And it, it, it just looks like when my daughter puts on my boots and walks around the house. Like, yes. She yeah. thinks she's funny. Like, is there another child underneath there that you're standing <laughs> Right, on? right. And he, I swear to God, I saw it last night. I was like, 
what's he going to go fling a ring into Mordor? Like, yeah. so, like Earl, why didn't you pick up on that, that the shirt was too long for the shot? You could have went like this. Chris, can I have you tuck before we take this a, shot? I would have appreciated a tuck. Yeah. Maybe a tie, like a little crop top, just to show. Oh, Look, is I'm that thing a... the girls yeah, do? They tie it in the front? T- yeah. That might be the way you want to wear your shirt for now on. It would have been sexy. Now, Earl, why didn't you pick up on that? Um, that was a failure to pick up on minor details that wouldn't make them. <laughs> was it bad. laziness or inattentiveness? It wasn't or... laziness. I was just trying to get a, a shot as quickly as I can, get Why? it up as quickly as I can. Why? I failed what? to do the, the, Hold on. the essential thing. Hold on. Which... What's the speed all about with you? Did you think you were going to get beat with this picture that <coughs> suddenly the National Enquirer would have put Run it up it. there? <laughs> Run it now! <laughs> we're not worried about that. We're not competing with any other services for the better than show you pictures. get this before you know? Getty does. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. It, it was actually even a matter of we were in break. It was. Like, it's not like, hey, we're doing something here. I want you to follow along with us. You know. And you thought the sh- the, the the shot was okay. You didn't think I looked weird when you sent it. I be one hundred percent honest. I didn't look at it thoroughly. I didn't say, you know what, Chris kind of looks. Is that disinterest in your own job? That's that disinterest in my own job. It's just a, at that particular moment, I was not focused. But that's the job. The job is, at that what if a moment. pilot was saying, uh, during the landing, I wasn't focused at all, and I guess that's why I missed the runway. Everyone's I, dead. Yeah. You know, a lot of times I got a lot of things on my mind, and one of them uh, is not the runway. <laughs> yes. I, I, again, my apologies, Chris. And it's it too late. I mean, he's been Peter Dinklage. Nothing is ever going to make up for this. No. They're going to call him Peter Dinklage forever. Yeah. He still gets the fucking centaur thing because yeah. the way uh, he was lined up one time. Great. A new nickname. That's now, exactly what I needed. If you hate Chris and you wanted to humiliate him, I'm all for that. You Just let me know. Yeah. Huh? Yes, I would respect it 100%. <laughs> sure. Then Chris I'd be like. Does- you know, get under your skin a yeah. lot. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I'm a And then I would be person. like this. Hey, Ron, you see what I did to that cock-sucking <laughs> son of a bitch? I made him look like fucking Peter Dinklage. <laughs> and then I would have like a little laugh with you. And I'd be like, we're getting him, buddy. We're getting him. Game recognized game. Yes, game <laughs> always recognized game. That's true. So you got him. Thanks, right? Earl. Now spit on him, Earl. Now that you got him down, Good. spit on him. Humiliate him. Do you want us to point and laugh while you do? Is, yeah. is, is that the point of this fucking picture of <laughs> Look me looking like a little... I look... Really this is honestly funny. the worst picture, and there's a lot of bad pictures of me. Yeah, yeah, this is in Austin? the fucking worst. Where is that? The Austin Airport? I How about the is... one that looked like the giant pole was up your ass? <laughs> that Between one's really those bad. Three, rank those three. Giant pole up the ass, <laughs> airport... Toad sitting on the lily pad or <laughs> All right. Dinklage. Least worst is the, the pole up my ass. <laughs> really? Because you were furious about that. I know. I wasn't happy about that at all. Yeah. Second is me at the Austin Airport because at least that is my size. I did look proportional Wait, to did, what I actually look Shouldn't that like. be the one you're the least mad about? And then the third, <laughs> the one I hate the most is this fucking picture of me looking like not even who I am. I remember there was a moon tower bench picture of you where all your buttons were popping yeah. open. I can find that if you yeah. like. Honorable mention? Yeah. That one was funny because it was just a relaxing seat. Like, hey, sure, take your picture. And then later he's going, why are all my buttons popping open? Chris, how do you feel that Earl said it was a minor detail in your one third of the photo? <laughs> it fucking doesn't make any sense. Here. There, there's the Austin one. <laughs> it's so You're bad. so much heavier there <laughs> than, than you think? are now. Yeah. Oh yeah. You've lost weight. The You've cancer's lost. helping. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. That I I lo- like more than the fucking. Are you pi- sleeping there? <laughs> I think I've. It was because I get take early flights. Ron. I think he was like <laughs> resting. No. I don't even know if you're fully asleep, but you were just mouth and game. Other like people do this, off. and Chris, it's Chris's philosophy, and I know other comics. They think that if they stay up all night. They're going to have a better slight, uh, flight because they'll pass out. But you pass, you sleep the worst possible way. You're no, sitting up, horrible. you're in the air, and you're passed out. And people around you have to be near you while this is happening. It's a dirty sleep. I'll, I'll it's give you awful that. It's awful sleep. A, it's a really dirty sleep. The uh, what do they call the like? It, you leave L.A. Red eye. The, the red eye is the worst sleep anyone could have. No, I hate it. Even if you take I've a pill, it it's a terrible it. sleep. 
I hate it. I hate the way, like, my my muscles never, even if I can get to the place of drifting off, my muscles never relax. So I'm just tense. I'm like, your temperature's wrong, and you're just, like, sitting up. It's a horrible experience. I, I hate it. never fly with Chris or most other people because they're all thinking, let's get home as early as we possibly can to not waste the day. So what you're saying is I want to have a dreadful, terrible morning, then get home. When everybody wants to talk to me, I just pass out. And then I wake up and it's nighttime anyway. You know what I mean? You have given up the day, yeah. but you've also made it a more terrible day. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go like this. No, I don't fly with you. I'm not going to argue or try to find a thing. I fly alone. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to tell the fucking hotel I'm checking out late. Yeah. It's a Sunday. They never mind. Yeah. And then I have a nice fucking breakfast there. I leisurely go to the airport. I come back here and I'm catching 60 minutes. What do I fucking care? <laughs> what happens during the day? What am I, a little boy that's going to go out and play touch football? I got nothing to do on a Sunday anyway. <laughs> hey, Jerry in Kansas. Uh, yes. I've been in photography for 37 years, uh -huh. and I've seen this phenomenon several times down here in Kansas. And it seems like everybody that is portrayed in this type of picture is from a certain vicinity down here. I think it's called Fuckstick Vision. Totally lost on this. Uh, do you sure. got it at all? No. Any of you guys pick no. up on where he's going? No. Well, no. Jerry, I appreciate the. Uh, attempt um let's go over to ac in uh, minneapolis what's up ac yo gang happy new year happy new year hey hey do you guys remember when you were like big on periscope you were pushing that pretty hard yeah and over that like you guys had a holiday party and Chris got trashed off of a bunch of Tito's and like ran from the ambulance and busted yeah. his head and did a bunch of crazy shit. Sure do. Well, well, there there is an image. I have this image of watching, clicking in on you guys at Periscope, and he's like getting undressed for some reason at the party. Yeah, I was taking my shirt a, off. Dude, you had a leotard on underneath this shirt. Yeah. And every once in a while, that image pops in my mind. It is he's so wearing it now. Fucking, he, AC, no, we're not. No. Yes, he yes, wears he it every day. He's got a white one on today. It's uh, it's something that a 1920s uh, guy would wear. <laughs> yes, he wears it. Does it snap? Now, is, Does it literally snap at the crotch? Yeah, like, is it the yes, it's, it's a crotch snap. Is that a wife beater that you have, Chris, or is that straight leotard as well? That's straight leotard. <laughs> Where do you even get those? JCPennies.com. <laughs> I can't wait if J.C. Penny goes out of business. It's going to be terrible He's for me. Right. It's happening right now. All right, I got to find out who this person is that sent this picture. Uh, this, and I remember the day this, oh, uh, Ray Ray sent this. Now, uh, this is Chris Stanley with an enormous head. You know, you're so much heavier there than you are now. And he's staring at the penises of little boys. And it's, um, it's a, a pic that's, it's the, the home of the dancing shrimp up the old N.E.W. building. Yeah. Uh, Is that red uh, something? The red, red, eye red, eye red eye grill. Red eye grill, yeah. Another red eye reference. Yeah. And white sunglasses just looking fucking weird. Yeah. That's a corporate restaurant that's been around forever. Mm -hmm. People, I found this out, tourists are like, I love the red eye grill. And I'm like, what? Really? I go, that was the fucking, yeah. They get to Times Square and they, they like this restaurant downstairs because it's in every fucking town, yeah. the steakhouse downstairs. And then they like to go up to the Red Eye Grill and the Brooklyn Diner. I haven't been to the Brooklyn Diner in years. I know, ages. Yeah. We, we, used go to go, we used to go all the time because it was, you know, where NEW was, but it's a pretty decent walk from here. Yeah. And it's very expensive, by the way. I mean, eggs is like really expensive. $29 or something <laughs> for eggs and sausage. So, Earl, you haven't come up with what happened and you haven't come up with a solution i mean i guess the solution is i guess more close-ups <laughs> more no it's more you crop. telling us like you well, having well, an me... understanding of what looks crazy and what doesn't chris do you... you're not letting them finish let me finish yeah, yeah. Let go me ahead finish. you first I, I just wanted to say do you think that it's the way you took the photograph or do you think that it's something else about chris like do you think you're at fault or do you think it's I, chris's I... bod 
and clothing. Ju- cl- obviously, judging by the shot, it's it is my fault because he looks a foot short. There's nothing we can do. Then there's nothing we can do. This stuff is now. Just I should have done what I should have done was gone from the waist up as opposed to full. So, so you're blaming it on his body. Okay. Okay. Not on the picture body. or the I'm... angle. You're saying his body is so distorted. No, it that we're gonna get... It's a terrible way to put it. Oh, we're going to do the coffee even a little earlier today. Okay. That sounds good. Um, can I just say to you uh, right off the bat, congratulations for what you did to Chris Stanley. I thought it was fucking fantastic. It was great. I hate it, Ron. It's, it's actually just... one of my favorite pictures of you ever. It's my least favorite picture ever of myself. Think of it as your happy Christmas uh, picture. I don't like it, Ron. There's a picture uh, of me staring at child dicks I like better. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Epstein. <laughs>